Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to set up for the first time this Dyson 360 Robot Vacuum Cleaner. So I just spent $1,200 on this. I did an unboxing, so if you need to see any of the dimensions, how to put it together, check out the unboxing. This is going to be the setup. We're going to download the app, see how it connects, see how it cleans. Then after a while, I'll do a, a comparison and a detailed review on it. I'll be comparing it over there to the Eufy X10 and several other robot vacuum cleaners. So. Again, I purchased this with my own money, $1,200. Is it worth it? I don't know yet, but let's find out. So taking everything out of the box, the only thing you really have to do is you're gonna install the power cord behind here and then snap this cover on. And then we're gonna dock it. When we dock it, these are the charging points right here, and that's what's gonna turn it on. And then we're gonna download the Dyson app. Okay, so here I've got the dock plugged in. They want 20 inches on either side of it free. There is a light right here that comes on when I plug it in. So we're simply going to dock the robot. Okay, so let's just move it up. All right, there's a screen that comes on. Okay, looks like this is a touch screen. We can slide it. English. So you press the whole screen and it's like a button. English, yes. Okay, so I'm gonna get the Dyson app. Okay, so you do have to log in with the username and password. Then down here, we're gonna click Add My Machine. Okay, so it wants to use, you have to give it permission to use your Bluetooth. And then it's also gonna to wanna to connect to your Wi-Fi. Okay, so it found this nearby machine. I'm gonna click the little arrow. Okay, so it says bring your tablet down by it. Press and click the LCD screen. All right, and now it's pairing. Hit Robot Paired, hit Continue Setup. Select, select your Wi-Fi and give it its password. Okay, so it's confirming the connection. Here's what the robot's doing. The screen kind of changes different times and we get a status that goes across the top of the screen. Again, here's what the robot's doing. Okay, so it says connected. Go down here, hit continue. You can give it a different name. I'm gonna leave that name. Now, it does say it's updating software right away. I didn't even tell it to do that. But let's go down here and hit confirm. So it's still updating the software. Here's where it says it's gonna start an update. And now it tells me that it's doing a software update. I don't really have a status, but I'll let you know how long it takes. Okay, so that took about five minutes. Okay, now it looks like it might be installing it or something. There's like a status bar going across now. Okay, so that took about another five minutes. Looks like it's restarting. And the whole time the app is saying connecting and that little thing's spinning. Okay, I got a green check mark, update complete. Okay, so now the app says it's ready to clean. Now there is a little gear icon here in the right hand corner. Click on it, it's got more settings. Under that gear icon, you'll see mapping and zoning, using your robot. Okay, so we need to create our first map. We're going to click that little plus button. Okay, there's a little video you can watch. We're going to hit continue. All right, just talks about placement of the... And so, yeah, on the back of the dock, I had my blue light. Hit continue. Now, this talks about preparing your home. Pick up any cables, loose objects leave doors open and make sure there's enough light on so the robot can see. Okay, click next. Mapping can take one to two hours. The robot's vacuum is switched off during mapping so it does not clean while it maps. Okay, let's hit start mapping. It says it's preparing. Looks like it closed that little 
side actuator that I accidentally opened. And it says mapping on top. So it's gonna randomly move around your house. Okay, so it looks like it's done. Returning to the dock, it says. And we got a map complete. Let's click on zone map. Okay, so there's the map of the house. Okay, so it did, it didn't, that's not my, it, there's so much more to my house than that. So the first attempt at mapping it, it, I mean, it only took about 10 minutes, but it didn't go down this hallway here. It didn't get over here, this area. So for $1,200, I thought it might do a little bit better job mapping. I might try to remap it, but I'm gonna go through and just show you how to hit the zones and everything. So it did not map my house. I've had, you know, the Eufy, it, it mapped my house completely, this basement, all the way down to the other end flawlessly, so. Okay, so I had it remap map my house and it did a really good job the second time mapping. It didn't take very long, um, but that's a more accurate um, map of my house. So I just deleted the other one. You can use this on multiple floors. Now I do wish I could see the map in the app more because sometimes I forget what I labeled the rooms and all it does is give you the symbol of what they are. But this is a really accurate map of my house now. See, I wish it was back here on this screen. So when I told it, say I want to tell it to go clean, I got to remember exactly what those, where those rooms are, which I guess you will after a while. But some of the ones nowadays have a map right here, like on this home screen, and you can select the rooms you want to clean. Just makes it a little easier. Now, let's go into, I'm going to be doing a detailed review on this, but this is, so this is the cleaning history. Now, it's got kind of a weird way of, that it does it. I'm not really, it just kind of colors it there. There's, it did the whole house. Now these, I put no-go zones here and here because I knew it was going to struggle. But And you can see it changes color when it does pick up a lot of dirt. I do think it's working pretty good. I got to just figure out if it's, if it's coverage is good. Like see over here, it wasn't. I wish it updated the map. There was there was the bad map. So yesterday, yeah. So a lot more work to do on this. I haven't seen it. Did I think it saw some obstacles? You don't really see them. No, you really don't see them on this. Now there was a lot of dirt in this area right here, so that's why that color is different. And same with over here. And so this is a brush or a something that opens up to allow more suction when it's against the wall, but I haven't seen it work yet. Okay, so let's create zones. Okay, so it takes you to a like a lot bigger screen now. Is your map ready? Understanding? Yep. It shows it where it's docked. Let's hit start zoning. Okay, it says tap on the map. Okay, so it's going to add a divider. So again, there's the charging station. I know I want to rotate this. How do you rotate this? Okay, down here it says that there's a rotate button. And now you move, just move it up and down. So it, it actually works pretty good that way. Okay, I've got it selected. Now we're going to select labels. Okay, it doesn't really give them names. Like this is the kitchen. It gives it kind of a symbol. Hit continue. Now it wants you to give your map a name. I called it downstairs. So here's kind of a smaller one. Let's click on manage the zones. I want to put some no-go zones. And those are called restrictions. Click restrictions. Click, click a restriction. Okay, so the restriction can be avoid, no brush bar, and no climb. So I picked avoid. It takes you to this screen. So now you just click on the map and then you can drag this around. I want to avoid this area. I know there's some cables. Click it again. Oh, I didn't click save or something. Okay, so once you create one, you got to hit next. Oh, you, you got to give the restrictions a name. So the go, the no-go zones are, you have to give them a name and now they show up on the map as yellow. 
Okay, this is the actual home, what it looks like. You've got different cleaning modes down here. Once you map your house, now you have this touch screen. So you got different things you can do and you press it. Okay, so the screen is like a touch screen. I can hit auto, quiet, boost, quick, and then I can swipe up. There's different settings. And then swipe down. And then when I want to do a quick clean, I just press the button in the middle. Let's go back to this app. Let's create schedule. You can set a schedule, have it come on different times of the day. This is your recent activity. So once it's cleaned a few times, we can see where it's cleaned. Now, once we select this clean button here, we can do all areas, quick, quiet, boost. We can do the, just the kitchen. Again, we can select quick auto boost. Or we can do just a room. Okay, so you got to select over here. It says estimated duration, six minutes, zero extra charges. Okay, let's start it. It's in auto. It says it's preparing. Okay, so it undocks itself. It has a time display on the top. So now it's actually cleaning. Okay, I got it in auto, and when it senses I got a bunch of dirt, and it ramps the suction up automatically. And then it goes down to a lower speed. All right, so first things, it's actually cleaning pretty good. Okay, so here I've got carpet and hardwood floors. It handles the transition well. And again, it ramps the suction up when it senses dirt and debris. All right, we're going to see how it avoids a cable on the ground and a dog toy. So it does hit the cable a little bit. So it will run the, a cable over. But it did have some, it's kind of low to the ground, so it did kind of push it a little bit. And again, there's a bunch of debris on the ground and it ramps up the suction automatically. So it is struggling with that cable. So it looks like it can avoid like a dog toy. Okay, so when it's all done, it will return to the dock and charge itself. Okay, it says clean ended. All right, now it's charging. Now we're back to that screen. So again, when we want to empty this, you're just going to press this button then grab this handle, rotate it back. 
there's all of our dirt and debris. It's got quite a bit in it, it looks like. Okay, here's the bottom side. Looks like the brush roller. I had a lot of hair on there. It did a good job. Yeah, I don't see any. There's a little area. Yeah, not quite sure what this is yet. Okay, let's take this over to the trash can again. We're going to simulate a trash can by moving this lever over to the right. It's kind of spring loaded. All right. Looks like it did a pretty good job. And then you just close it and snap it close. Yeah, it did get quite a few of the big chunks and a lot of the dog hair. Then you just come down here and slide it onto place till it clicks. Yeah, it goes on really easy. Okay, so this is just a preliminary results. It, the suction power was really good. Its pattern was a little off, but it didn't create a very good map of my house. So it, I'm gonna have to have it remap my house. So it shows a really interesting pattern. This is in the, um, oh, where you review, where it cleaned. Let's do the one earlier again. So you can see my original map is just not accurate. And you can see it cleaned kind of outside it. I wish it updated the map as it was cleaning. But this is really cool. That, I had a lot of dirt and debris in this area. Um, I don't know if it does. It doesn't do obstacles yet. Oh, it does. There was an obstacle right here, but it doesn't tell me what it was. I think that's where the cable got clogged. And... Um, that I shut it down automatically. So again, I got I got to use this for a while. And I got to figure out the mapping. Again, the cleaning pattern didn't seem the most, it seemed way too random. Like the Eufy and them, they kind of go in lines and it's a little more detailed. I couldn't watch it update live in the app or nothing. So again, a lot to work on. So far, you know, I'm okay with it, but it's $1,200. That's a lot of money. So look for the review coming. Look for the comparison coming. If you want to see more robot vacuum cleaners, I've got the Dream L10S, Roborock Q Revo, S8 Ultra, and the Narwhal. Look for me over on Instagram, Just a Dead Videos on Instagram, my Facebook group page, and I'm also on TikTok. I do free giveaways there when I'm done with the products. Again, if you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. If you could, hit the thumbs up button right underneath the video. And thanks for watching.